Hey everybody, I am 22 Tiger Dude and I'm here to review SpongeBob You're Fired. So, SpongeBob You're Fired is about when Mr. Krabs he fires SpongeBob when he needed to save a nickel. So when SpongeBob cannot handle being unemployed because the fact that he doesn't work at the Krusty Krab anymore, it really depresses the poor sponge. So he decides to go search for another job. Now, I was a little worried about the special because you've seen episodes like these done on cartoons and television shows bunches of times. I wasn't really sure what to expect coming into the special because when you create an episode you've seen done on cartoons and TV shows a lot you always want to make sure you try to go creative and you want to try to go somewhere different and even if it may be predictable at least try to go different get unique I was impressed by Spongebob You're Fired I love this special this is actually one of the best Spongebob specials I've ever seen. I was sucked into it from start to finish. And granted, I will admit, there isn't much humor in this episode. Like, I did laugh at some moments, but to me, this was more about the story. But some of the humor that was in the special, it does fit the storyline well. And it was pretty funny. Patrick, he was stupid and random here. He has like an extra Patrick at his upper head. Yeah, it was weird, but it made me laugh very hard. Sandy appears in the scene in the special, and I really enjoyed her appearance here. It was actually a very funny scene. I really enjoyed that one scene Sandy was in because she was doing some kind of odd experiment. The special is very well executed, and it's actually very well paced. I never felt like it was rushed. Not even towards the end, surprisingly. It's actually paced at a normal. It never felt slow. It never felt fast. I enjoyed the job searching element for Spongebob. Not only that, but I really enjoyed the development of Spongebob and Gary. And then Gary, you could tell he was worried about Spongebob. And I just thought that was very nice. Man, once Spongebob got fired, wow, was he depressed. Wow, was he just a completely different sponge. This episode was actually a bit dark because of how depressed Spongebob was after he was fired. That part of the element in the special really surprised me. He's just home and he's depressed and once he realizes he's sick of being unemployed that's when the sponge decides to get up and go find himself a job because he hates being unemployed and he just wants to work even if it may not be working at the Krusty Krab he would still work at a job and still do at least something instead of doing nothing like his best friend Patrick. The episode also has an ending that I thought was handled so well. The ending actually caught me off guard a bit. I didn't see it coming. It was something different I'm going to actually spoil the ending, but not right now. I will alert you guys, so that way I don't spoil it for those who have not seen this episode. It was a very impressive direction. I love where the ending went. I gotta say, props to the writers. I love the special. I was so impressed. It's definitely everything I want in a SpongeBob special. If I have to give just a nitpick, SpongeBob crying for the past one minute after Mr. Krabs fired him was starting to get a bit annoying. It's nowhere near as annoying as when SpongeBob's crying and all that glitters. Oh my gosh. I wish that reminded me of an episode that I just absolutely despised. It's just a nitpick though. It has nothing to affect of how much I love this special. It's very well written. It is so creative. I actually try to go somewhere unique. It had a very unexpected ending. I thought the ending was handled so well. The special was never rushed for me. It was well paced. Very well done pacing. There's some very funny moments. I'm so glad. I loved it. I'm glad the writers took it at a different direction. I'm glad how creative they try to go. Everything worked in the plot, the detailing of this episode. Wow, I was impressed. SpongeBob You're Fired is one of the best specials I've ever seen. It earns a rating I have not used since my review of Plankton's Pet, and that is a 10 out of 10.
I am now going to spoil the ending for you guys. If you're still watching this and you have not seen the episode SpongeBob You're Fired yet, you might want to go ahead and get out of the video from there. You've been warned. Here is me giving my thoughts on the ending. I really love the ending because SpongeBob got fired from the noodle shop, Weenie Hut, the pizza place, and the burrito place. The manager of the Weenie Hut actually captured SpongeBob and tied him to the stove. So SpongeBob is actually in prison, being forced to work. And then the pizza manager, he breaks out SpongeBob, but then he takes SpongeBob. And then all the other managers of these other places, they're chasing after one another to try to get SpongeBob because they realize how good the products he made has. And then out of nowhere, this killer Krabby Patty. That's right, it was a killer Krabby Patty. He comes down, he kicks everyone's ass. The pizza guy, the noodle guy, the burrito guy. And he decides to spare the manager of Weenie Hut. So the manager wasn't hurt, but then he walked by and then the bus hits him. That cracked me up by the way. This killer Krabby Patty, he saves SpongeBob from all those managers. I was impressed how that element was handled. But then this Krabby Patty drags Spongebob back to the Krusty Krab. And then we see that the Krusty Krab, man, has it turned into crap after Mr. Krabs made the biggest mistake of his life, which is firing Spongebob just to save a nickel. So it was revealed that the killer Krabby Patty is Squidward. That's right. Squidward was actually in on getting SpongeBob back to work at the Krusty Krab. Squidward says how unfortunately he did want SpongeBob back. We see a side of Squidward we haven't seen in a long time, which is him actually being nice to SpongeBob. But Squidward says that he hates burnt Krabby Patties even more, and he actually says, please come back, SpongeBob. I really love that Squidward did that. It also sort of redeems Squidward a bit for his awful dark and cruel behavior in my most hated Spongebob episode of all time, Little Yellow Book. And then of course Spongebob said if it's okay with you Mr. Krabs for me to come back and Mr. Krabs says yes. As we could all predict Spongebob got his job back. The reason it's so different for me because in cartoons and TV shows when someone gets fired uh Normally that person will be replaced. Spongebob luckily was not replaced, but the ending could go with, oh, the manager or an employee going back to that person, begging that person to come back. That person refuses to go because he feels offended that he gets fired or he got replaced or any other cliches that you've seen done in TV shows and cartoons in the past. But I love the direction that the ending went because Spongebob, he never did go back to the Krusty Krab. He wanted to move on from the Krusty Krab. I love that element. But the fact that the killer cry pay was Squidward and that he dragged Spongebob all the way back so for Mr. Krabs to rehire him, I love that. That's why I was very satisfied with the ending because they handled the whole hiring back that person element differently. Subscribe to my channel, comment your opinion on the SpongeBob episode, like and share this video, follow me on Facebook and Twitter. I am 22 Tiger Dude. Don't forget that I will always have Tiger Power.